Hello. Before you ask, what are those? That was yesterday's exercise of the day. I'm Rob here, and uh, welcome to my exercise of the day, 27 October. You might ask, what are we doing today, Rob? Well, today we're gonna be going over the basics of my off the wall workout. I'm gonna start you off from the very beginning. You ready? Okay. The most important ingredient you're gonna need is a nice solid wall. Uh, that's the last thing you wanna do is pop up on the wall and your feet goes right through it. Not a good thing. Um, you also wanna find a wall preferably where you won't get in trouble with your parents, your spouse, what have you. Um, if you need to, you can take it outside and find a nice brick wall out at a park, what have you. Um, you can even use a tree. I've seen people do that too. So, what's the first thing you need to do? You need to find the proper distance. Because you're going to be balancing your feet on the wall, you need um, some non-slip shoes, or you can use barefoot. Please do not use any socks. You will slide off the wall. Um, you're going to need, uh, you will be engaging your shoulders, a little bit of your chest, your triceps, and of course your core. I love core-centric exercises. So, what I like to do, I like to get a piece of rag as a marker for where my hands go. You can use anything you want, a piece of paper, what have you, whatever works, okay? So, finding the proper distance. Get your rag, a piece of paper, what have you, set it down, and that's where your hands are going to go. Now, I'm going to have you walk up the wall a little bit, just like this. Now, if you need to start to bend, just like that, you're too close. So we're going to move this out for a moment. Place your hands there, stretch your body out, and walk on up. Now, if this is where you're at, you're still too close, because what you want to do is eventually have your body almost parallel to the ground. It's okay to have it a little higher than, than, uh, than I had. But the key thing is, find proper distance that you can straighten out your body, okay? It's gonna take strength of your shoulders, your triceps, again, your chest, and your core. A little bit of your back. A lot of times, I tend to see people do this. See that butt? What you want to do is straighten out that butt here. Okay? Now, for the jumps, it's not absolutely necessary that you can hold your body weight up like that, but it is an ideal thing to do. If you can hold your whole body weight up there, you can do pretty much anything from there. So, some of you, once you find the proper distance, you can just do a quick tap from here, kick out, tap, back down. Again, kick out, tap, back down. Now the main thing you want to do is place your weight into your arms. Okay, so your weight stays into your arms, and that's what helps you be lighter with your feet. Straighten out your body. Tap, and back. Again, tap, and back. Showing you what it looks like for the front. Finding the distance. I'm good. Remember to tap and back. Place your body weight into your arms. And let's go. Tap. Try to keep it straight. That'll make sure that all the weight is in your arms and down to your hands, okay? So, back to the side view. Once you find the proper distance, this in itself is a workout. Doing the taps. So from here, again, put your weight into your hands, get your legs out, keep your core tight. Breathe.
One thing I'd like to point out is, if you have knee problems, you probably don't want to do these or consult a physician before doing this. So, hope you like today's workout or exercise of the day. You can look me up on Instagram, and my Instagram page is, let's see, gymrat.nuffsaid, or nuff underscore said. So it's gymrat.nuff underscore said, S-A-I-D. I'm Rob. Have a great day.